Hey guys, and welcome back to Surviving Mars, where it turns out Mars is a dry planet. It's not really a dry planet, there's water down here and stuff, but around my place, we've not got much actual water on the go. So we built ourselves this nice little moisture evaporator farm that's producing all sorts of power here. This guy is going along and fixing our broken pipe that it turns out we got literally right at the end of our last episode. This guy is saying he's not getting any water. I, I disagree. There's a lot of water being produced here, so I don't know why you're not making any. Maybe we shouldn't have actually put, put these right on top of each other. Now that I look at these hexagons, maybe we should have put them a little bit further apart from each other, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make do with uh, what we've uh, got. So now that we've got water and fuel being produced, oxygen can be extracted from the atmosphere by using a moxie. Since it's crucial for the f f survival of your future colonists, yeah, spit those words out, an oxygen tank for storage is highly recommended, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's make ourselves an oxygen place. So we've got the water there, and I think we're going to have oxygen on the other side. I tell you what, though, before I do that, let's put ourselves a little bit of a water tank in the side there. Do I want one or do we want two? I'm going to put two down just for backup reasons. It's always good to have two, right? Always good to have two. So now I'm going to get some oxygen tanks and just kind of put the... Oh, oh, I can't I can't angle them the way I want to. Okay, we're going to have them on the angle like that. That that should work out all right for us. And then we're going to go at these uh, moxies. Now, I really wish I knew what moxie stood for but uh we're, we're gonna go with it like that can i Sector fit scanning. this in no i can't fit that in like that i was i was gonna have it be really weird but there we go three of them should be fine well why not four why not four indeed we've got four water producers why not have four oxygen producers extend the power cables out so nothing can complain that it's being forgotten about and of course we need to get a little bit of a life supportage pump out like so so that should now blocking objects ah oh okay so we need to do that for all of them that's that's a little annoying a little frustrating but that's fine we can do it like this drag it all the way across here and then kind of connect the oh ugh, ick, what what's this you sir be gone with you uh and it took the whole thing it took the whole thing that that's a little annoying but i'll live with it I'll live with it. And then this last one goes to there. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we want to do something similar, but with these water pipes. If I do it like that, that should connect everything up. And then we can have a dual lines coming up this way. Now, why do we do all this? What's the point of oxygen and water for robots? Like, really? Why? Why, why are we even bothering? Because, obviously, we're going to bring people back. I was just noticing that this... Uh, this uh, icon was flashing here. If we have a look inside Asimov, you can see that we are refueled and ready to go. So if you could please, Mr. Asimov, go back home. Go on. Be gone with you. Let, get out of here. Get out of here. We got ourselves a milestone. Woo! We launched a rocket. So next one, constructing a dome is exactly what I'm actually looking to do next. So let's get the basic dome out. Ooh, it's tight, but I'm going to go with that. It's tight, but we're going to go with that. So we need to think about power we can get power into here that's no problem what are you got you guys really worried about power not enough power is that actually our problem here that is actually a problem here i should imagine it's because of all this down here so i was about to try and connect everything up but it looks like what we need to do is start thinking Keep about battery, secondary yeah. power systems so let's bring this over to here to connect up to the system i'd also like to bring this down this way because i have learned in previous games that just having a single attachment point that's uh, that's death to any pro project death to any project you need you need to have redundant Redundancies in place. Okay, so now that I've moved my little dude across my spirit sector to scanned. move this, Anomaly found. to move my drones back and forth, we've scanned another sector and it's full of metals. Whoop! That's what I like to hear. Let's let's have a look here. Which one is, was it? Okay, so it's only surface material. Uh, could be better. Could be worse. Still no actual water to worry about. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we've got ourselves water, oxygen, getting a, uh, a building set up for a people. Uh, that is because we want to set up some more stuff here. So if we come to uh, the production, production, there we go. I want to have metals extractor, which requires this deposit. Bam. And then I also would like rare metals extractor, which requires that deposit. Bam! Okay, we have managed to put that in place. Uh, and once this all gets built, I will tell you what our next problem is. Actually, we've got power issues. Let, let's sort out our power issues first. I'm going to put down various wind turbines at various places. I'm hoping the fact that I put them distance apart is going to give us a bit of a bonus on what 
uh, well, it stops any, um, you know, like I was saying with the, these water ones, the overlapping hexagons might end up like reducing each of, each of the water drain. I was wondering whether the wind turbines have something similar, but I don't, I don't see anything saying that. 9% elevation boost, that's a bit of a shame. We could really have done with being a little bit higher up, I suppose, but it's no problem. Look at that, it's still deep water. Not, not, not finding any surface water. That is a shame. We've got a malfunctioning cable, but thankfully, look, malfunctioning cable here, but because we've got uh, lines going in every direction it should help do we need to actually go around my building with that with that help out there oh the autosave of doom so one thing that I've been neglecting mainly because I forgot all about it is that I asked for some more orbital probes in the last um, ca cargo drop Sector so let's extended. do a few of these I'm just gonna like scatter them around see if we can find any good, decent stuff anywhere and that was those three spent and didn't really find anything that I was looking for a little bit of a shame a little bit of a shame let's uh queue up a few more around here this looks like a good nice open area to be building more things i keep pressing escape to leave the map view and it's not how it works it's really not how it works uh so what is the hold up on these we're missing Miles concrete and machine parts i we cannot believe we're missing concrete shortage. we have a water shortage Okay, all sorts of problems because our dome has gone up, but that that's not that's not the end of the world. That is not the end of the world. Uh, we will sort out a few of them. The first one it was complaining about was an oxygen shortage. So if I bring that up like this, I think I would like to, and I'm not sure if I'm right about this, but if I connect those up like that, this should bring all life support that's what i'm thinking of all a life support up and through this pipe here and then i would like to get this one and connect it down here like so and that should then have the redundant system in place like we were talking about with the power that that should hopefully work that should hopefully work domes without water no don't worry about that you've got water i wouldn't worry about that at all i'm still worried about the lack of power though we appear to be storing some. Look at that. We've got a charge on the go, but that's not enabling these to work. Insufficient power is a problem here. But uh, hopefully these will just get built and, work, and then start working. Let's have a look. Uh, hourly production. Oh, we are like half. Half of what we want. No active research. Research complete. Okay, we've got no active research on the go. That's no problem. We'll come in and have a look. Uh, oh, look, we got a breakthrough. I didn't even hear this come in. Now, these are like super techs, if you will. Uh, drones move 50% faster. That's pretty good, but I'm not... I don't know. Is that really what we want? I'm going to queue it up, but it's not really what I want. Uh, Mars Crown Funding gives us more money. Not so interested in that. Increases research provided by sponsor. We'll go with that. That sounds great. Uh, what else have we got here? Extractor amplification increases production by 25%, but also increases power production. Not so good. Low G turbines increase the power output by our turbines. Definitely after that. Uh, drone printing. Let's get the drone printing. That's the drone assembler, I'm guessing. Rover Command AO. The RC Rover no longer needs recharging. Ooh. Now that, that means we can just drive him around, right? Okay. Uh, can I... There we go. We've got it. We've got it. Is there anything else in particular that I'm after? The drone hub I am, but not that much. So maybe salvaging is a good idea. Though I'm fairly sure I can salvage already. Maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe I'm wrong there. Uh, we've got a few things to check out there, but that, that's all good. That's all good. We'll just sit with this for now. Is the power flowing? Does the power now flow? Uh, we, we're getting better. We're at 40 of 60. So if we could just keep this rolling and getting some more wind turbines up and running that should work out pretty well what was full fuel compression it's not going to tell me is it Where, whereabouts whereabouts that's the adaptive uh ai explorer ah fuel compression was part of the, the uh, actual main cargo vessel okay not that interesting vehicle has a low power oh look at this it's our drone ship let's just fly him over there and he can we get himself a, a bit of power. Shortage. Dome without power. All I was doing was drawing some power for my drone. Really? Is this, is this what we're saying? Is this what we're saying? So how do we make more power? I think it's time for a solar plant. What do you guys reckon? We've not had one of those, really. Uh, so we can make do with that. Uh, let's get ourselves a big old power cable. I'm going to bring it down here. Because um, I've got a feeling along here would be a good place to make it. It's a little close to our... Uh, our concrete extractors which produce a fair old whack of dust but I think we'll be okay if I just kind of do like 
like so and then we click and do like this as well that should put a whole a bunch in place that's uneven terrain so that's fine uh, we probably also want a whole bunch of accumulators put down somewhere just so that during the day when it's making power we can save up said power yeah let's do it in groups of two well I say groups of two. We'll do mostly in groups of two. But so people, uh, people, drones, whatever, can run in between the power accumulators. Are these guys not able to reach down this way? That, that would be pretty sad. Let's bring these guys over so that they can aid in the building process. That'd be pretty good. Uh, we've still got this metals guy. Is he able to unload yet? He is able to unload. Unload here, if you could, please. Yeah, nice. Is that just going to fill that up and then he's still going to be full of extra stuff? I think that might be the case. So let's go unload here again, if you can. That's pretty good. And that's him uh, done. Okay, let's move him onto a charge point and we then not what? Yeah, I, I, I get it. I get it. The, uh, the rovers take power off of my dome. We'll, we'll make do somehow. We will make do somehow. Okay, that's looking good. This is looking good. Everything's looking good. Let's click on here and have a look. We're at 47 out of 61 uh, hourly production as opposed to demand. We got the stored power though. That is working in our favor very much. So looking in my local area for metals, because it's one of the things that we're short of, you can see that we've got little bits that are just kind of lead on the floor here, uh, mainly in this one. So it's got underground metals. Uh, that's this bottom thing that says underground metals, and you can see the symbol has a little downwards arrow. But there's also like 65 surface metals and 31 in here. So let's see if we can try and do something about that. So would it be these? Do you think it's Receptors these? Can. Let's have a look. Opportunity. Can you come down and get a bunch of that stuff? You can. Nice. So we've got most of these made. What's my power systems at nowadays? 70. Yes, there we go. That's what we're talking about. Solar panel. Solar power. It's a winner. Can we use you guys to come and try and get some more of this metals? Hopefully the drone there. Yeah, okay. So he overlaps this and the build site. So hopefully the drones will come back and forth and do the business there. That is very much what is going down. I love it. I love it. Uh, capacity here is going up. Are we going to have enough to carry on getting all the stuff from here? Yeah, it's only got a five or so. It's a little bit of a shame. There is more over this way though. So keeping an eye on his battery. Maybe we want to offload first. Yeah, let's do an offload first uh, over there. If you could, please, buddy. Thank you. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, what else are we missing here? Now you can see up the top with these guys are missing people there are in fact four people needed per shift but we'll worry about the shifts later uh, and over here we also have four people needed what was that hint that it just went hey no no i missed it okay well no no biggie no a biggie so i think what we're gonna do Oh, Clark is ready to return to Earth. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's refueled and he's empty of everything apart from uh, drones. Uh, do we want to keep the drones around? Honestly, I don't think they're doing much for us right here. Let's uh, let's send you back. Go on, Clark. Go go home. Be gone with you. Take off in progress. Are we are just waiting for all the drones to come back? Is that what's going on? Hopefully, these drones are now going to be part of the drone core over here. Let's have a look. We've got 12 out of 100. Mm, okay. Eight of them are idle. Two are working. That's all right. That's fine. We we can we can live with that. It's definitely the lack of metals that is the problem here. Speaking of, let's get opportunity and come over here and pick up a load of these metals. That should hopefully be the way forward here. We've got 49. He's not going to be able to pick it all up, but that's fine. Uh, also, we should have curiosity here. Let's get curiosity over to have a look at some anomalies here. I'm I'm totally down for that. So I was talking about people. I, I may have got a little sidetracked about the metals here. I was talking about people. So let's zoom right in on the dome. The glass normally disappears, but let's come over to Homes, Education and Research. Because, of course, we're going to need some living quarters for people. And if we uh, click on there, it doesn't tell us, but I know off the top of my head that this holds 14 Sector people. Now, 14 is a little Anomaly short found. than the four that we uh, need. New anomalies found. We found more anomalies and many more stuff on the floor. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so as well as all that, I also want to do a production. Uh, where was it here? Polymer factory. Now, this was a thing that I really wanted to make sure we had churning over no cable connection I, I disagree I think there would be a good place for you okay I so reported leaking pipes not a problem mm -hmm. I am all right with that my my workers will come along and work on it new techs available ah because uh curiosity over here where are you 
uh, curiosity. Did a scan, did a research. Nice. Go over there and do uh, some more. New techs There's are available. More to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. All right, nice. We get battery so optimization no and subsurface it. heating. These are nice things. Where's battery optimization? Is that actually... There we go. Drone battery capacity increased by 50%. Wow, look at that. 3,000 points to spend on that. That's going to take a little time. Uh, maybe we want to do things like... Oh, we're, we're fully we're, we're fully, fully stocked. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Oh, look, we've got a metal node up there. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's uh, find opportunity. 44 Four metals loaded. Forty-four. Um, it says forty-five. It says forty-five. It, it lied to me. It lied. Uh, let's offload there. It's not going to be able to take all of them, but it's a good, good start. Uh, we will sort out the passenger rocket in a moment. We're going to need another couple of things in here. So we've got the uh, the drone factory. Now we need to start thinking about food and stuff like that. Now. We need to grow food somehow, uh, which I'm not sure how. Over here, do we have it? Statue, fountain, lakes. No, none of these are food. Maybe life support. Hydroponic farm. Seems like a good idea. I, d I don't know about you guys, but I think having a farm probably the best way forwards for food um I, I don't know if there's another way of doing food it's the only one i found so far uh also back over here i think a research lab probably wouldn't go amiss can't have it up there so that's pretty good and then we need something else. i mean do we want a nursery i don't think we want a nursery we want a way of giving the food out so the farm creates food let's have a look over here you can see the farm produces food but it doesn't actually give you back doesn't give people access to the food which is crazy you got to put like a grocer down like this maybe i should have put the hydroponic farm at the back but anyway there we go we got a grocer down as well so that should actually be all the basic resources we need i think we've got somewhere to live we've got food yeah yeah I, th I think we're good just for this tiny dome like this should we should we start like that we've got 14 residents yeah okay let's come down here let's come down here and do a thing uh passenger rocket is what we want age group i'm not all that bothered by any of the age groups in particular i don't want senior citizens do we like not want middle age let's see what we get there uh so that brings us down you can see that we've got rocket capacity 12 100 colonists so far a hundred colonists so far so do we want any particular specializations i mean we want botanists scientists um and there's still a lot there still a lot we also want engineers geologists and medics like those in particular are the ones i'm after right Let, let's go with that uh i don't do not care for gender literally no no bother about that at all a workaholic uh, increased performance by 20 no penalty for heavy workload let's go with those we'll take those in particular they're at the top of the list uh survivor sexy Ooh, do like some sexy sexy scientists uh composed genius celebrity saint religious let's just kind of get rid of that one uh Gamer, recover sanity when gaming, nerd, gains temporary morale boost every time a new technology is researched. Like the idea of that. Um, rugged, no comfort penalties when eating unprepared food. No, no. I mean, I think we're kind of all right. Party animal, gain comfort when uh, satisfying social. Okay. I mean, that that's pretty good. Is there anything quirks? Do we want to just get rid of all quirks? Randomly spread other traits of this colonist to persons in the same dome. I like that. Why have we not got that? Oh, well, cool. Uh, let's go back. We've done as much narrowing down as we can. Let's now review. Can I uh, individually select people? Is that a thing? I mean, we've got a lot. We've got a lot to, to go with. Now, if I remember correct, we need four botanists. So let's go one. Oh, man. We, we're not going to have two, three literally alphabetical preference here four that's that's pretty terrible actually let's see if we can't get another half uh shift shift on the go Let, let's do that seven just one more let's let's get let's go for the full eight okay there we go that's the full eight uh now let's come back and try and get ourselves some scientists uh one two three 
Is there a way to go random? To just be like, okay, I've, I've now selected the people I want. Can I just have a random selection of the others? Four. Approved colonist, 12. Okay, that's... That's going to do it. That's, that, that's, that's it. Let's go. I'm sure we're going to have some people complaining. I'm sure we're going to have some people complaining. All we've got are botanists and, and research students. So, I don't know. It will be interesting. Uh, is everything working A-OK -okay here? It says we've got five buildings not working. And why not? What is wrong with these? Uh, this about uh, polymer. We are out of a polymer. Thankfully, uh, what did we want for people here? What, like doesn't say what our best workers engineers okay so maybe we'll get some engineers next time yeah we're gonna have to move someone in there who won't like it probably a botanist uh, that's what well, i mean what do we want here geologists geologists okay all right so now that we've got the basic dome sorted as in we've got research and food i mean what goes in the grocers doesn't really say that like we want one person without a specialization is that is that what we're being told here is that what we're being told but anyway as we've got all this sorted out let's start thinking about who we're gonna have moving in next so another living quarters here we want like four geologists worth right eight geologists worth there's eight geologists we're not ready to explore uh, rare deposits yeah okay uh, that's fine that's fine uh so eight geologists and oh man one two three four five well you're gonna have to have eight engineers because that's all i can fit on the ship and we're gonna have that again all right let, let's do that oh i can't send a passenger rocket international we've got to let them survive for 10 souls okay well that's that's going to be interesting that is going to be very very interesting in Indeed. Are we going to get this rolling? Are we going to have a thing working for us here? I hope so. I hope so. Okay, we've got our passenger rocket ready to launch down. I'm just going to put them there and see what happens. It should be okay. Everybody will walk down past their workplaces. Well, I mean, I suppose this is technically the workplaces. But we'll see what's going on here. A new beginning, full of hope and determination. The first, the first founders have set foot on the red planet. On the red planet. There's a dude speaking in the background. But anyway, whatever. The next ten souls will be full of difficulties and dangers, but also great promises. Okay, uh... Arrival of additional colonists, temporarily suspended until colony proves able to, sus to sustain human life. Your founder colonists must survive 10 souls before additional people can arrive. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where we're going to try and make these 12 people survive for 10 souls. I think we've got that. You think we've got that? I think we've got that. I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!